are they watching? Uh, hey! I'm standing inside the gutted what shell of Mako Reactor 5. As you can see, the working there's still for a lot of smoke rising obvious? from the rubble. Cowards, While using fallen beams so and other debris to continue to hinder fire. rescue efforts, I'm the fires you, appear to have been mostly extinguished. Those foreign devils are trying to start another war. Ah, so if we over there! The bombers, uh, that's we the director of Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division, yeah, isn't it? Right, yeah. uh, excuse hey, me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? But we're safe down here, right? Uh, can you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? No reason for the what kind of damage did it suffer in the explosion? So, are we in any danger? Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! Alright, let's go. Alright, what's up? How's it going, everyone? People on the internet, how's it going, man? Um, welcome to Chapter 8. We finally made it to Chapter 8. Uh, we fought some boss battles. We went, um, we went and fight. We went and fought Reno. Um, Reno definitely gave me a hard time. No lie, Reno definitely gave me a hard time. It was a pretty sloppy boss battle. I could have done a lot better. I feel, but it is what it is. I got the job done. I won the boss fight, so that's all that matters. So, um. On this part though, basically on this part, we're just going to be doing a lot of side quests. That's pretty much all this part is going to be. Because, um, if you do all the side quests in Chapter 8, you get to get Aerith, Beth, I say Beth, Beth, what the fuck? Uh, Aerith, Beth, Beth's dress. So we're going to be doing all the side quests and getting the nail bet, uh, the nail bet and also... Um, what else? What else? The kind of things that comes on the side quest. I think you get some pretty good items other than nail bet. But um, yeah. So if you want to stick around and watch some side quests, by all means, stick around and watch some side quests. Um, but on our next part, we're definitely going to be progressing. You know. But uh, yes, yeah, just stick around if you want to stick around, though. Why, hello, Aerith. So as of right now, we're just talking to some NPCs. Aerith just going around, just talking to the doctor. She just talking to a kid. And I think we're going to be talking to these people over here. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? Where, where are you, Aerith? Okay, she's still talking. I think she's going to come over here next. He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you sure he's up to it? Hmm. As I said before, though, this is probably my least favorite chapter, man. It's just so boring. <laughs> it's just so boring, man. Oh, God. Oh, what's she doing, man? She's knocking over stools and shit. What are you doing, Aerith? Get out of the way, Aerith. There you are. We're back! And we brought Aerith with us! Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. 
I keep saying this over and over again, but this is my least favorite chapter. Because, man, oh, well, it's my least favorite chapter on multiple playthroughs because you gotta do this every time. You can't, I don't know if you even can skip this, but you gotta do this every time you come here in chapter 8. Aerith walk ass slow. She walk super slow. Talk to the doctor, talk to the kids, talk to everybody around the town. Then once you hit the, uh, once you go to her house, you gotta pick flowers and come back over here and walk super slow. Then after that, that's when you start doing the side quests. This is just really, really slow. This whole chapter is just really slow, and and it, and it feels very padded. You know, I feel like it's very unnecessary for me to be walking this damn slow. My house is just up this path. And your Aerith house too, yo. Aerith house. Like, it's, 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 look at her house, y'all. She live in the slums, but look where she live in it. I don't know about, the, I don't know about the slums, but, yo, look, look at her house, y'all. Look at that shit. That's my house. She live in, like, a goddamn king. She got vegetation growing. She got flowers growing. She stay by a goddamn water source. She got a whole waterfall. <laughs> she got a whole waterfall next to her goddamn house, man. I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. Or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. And why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> Alright, so we're going to be going picking flowers, but first we need to go up here first, I think. Then we need to go back down. But, uh, they have a treasure, uh, treasure box up here first. So I want to go see what's up here. Thinking about some ethers in this treasure box. Is it? No, there's nothing up here. Yo, I swear there's like a treasure box up here. Man, that's a waste of my damn time. Found him. Hmm? <sighs> you take this one. Yeah. Uh. Take it. Uh. So, um, the flowers that you pick is going to determine whether, uh, what type of picture comes, comes up on the, um, the leaf house. So there's like a little portrait, and depending on the flower you pick, you're either going to get a mogul, a chocobo, and I don't know what else. I only got two pictures, and that was a mogul and a chocobo. Oh, don't be like that. I know you um, for this kind of thing. So, pressure angle. Fresh around going to close the garden to pick flowers, decorations, like leaf house change, depends on what you select. Yeah, so it basically tells you. 
Um, you know what? We already choose this one and this one. I'm gonna go with this one. Whoa, fox tails, huh? I gotta hand it to you. I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. We're gonna choose all fox tails, cause I already choose the other two. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Uh, the white ones give you Moogle, and the yellow ones give you a Chocobo. She said, as many as I don't know what so these fox more? tails are going to give you. Them fox tails are ugly as shit too. Look at them things, man. Them things are ugly. What do you say? She was the she ugliest spotter of the bunch. Get out of the way, Aerith. I'll punch you in this water. <laughs> she all in my damn way. Shit. Oh, we're definitely in a hurry. We're most definitely in a sure damn hurry. Are. We try and get up out this damn chapter, dude. Job this chapter so, sucks. How do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. All right, we're almost there to the leaf house. Who had to get these flowers to? I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? <sighs> Alright, so. We're gonna go check out the town. Um, I think. If you give out these uh, battle reports. Shiva should be unlocked. The summon. The ice summon should be unlocked. After you give these two reports, so we're gonna find out what uh, Chapman has to say. Uh, let's see. Cloud, I have the. I believe I might. Cloud, I got amazing news. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see, okay, summon. So I was right. So Sheba should be the first summon you fight. If this thing hurt the hell up, shit. I've done it. I've developed a new theory. Yeah, Shiva. But we're not gonna be fighting Shiva right now. We're gonna hold off on that. Because I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get by it. Like very, very destroyed if I went up and fight Shiva. We're gonna hold on until like maybe level twenty five or something. Uh, we're gonna go hill. I see Cloud got um, some battle damage on his HP, so we're gonna heal, heal it up right quick. Then after that, we're going to find this kid. Should be somewhere over here, maybe. He should come running down this hill. There we go. He's right here. I remember you. Where's Eric? Alright, so we need to go make our way back to the leaf house. And then they're gonna talk about uh, some kids missing. Then we're gonna go back, fight the enemy. It would be two smoggers. The uh, smoggers might be a very big issue. But we're gonna see when we get there. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. Alright, so we gotta follow this kid. He's gonna bring us to the secret hideout. I don't know how is the secret when there's <laughs> when there's a, a huge ass painted on the wall and there's kids just sitting by the entrance, but 
the volcano is a secret hideout. All right, we made it. Come on, get out of the way, kids! Shit. Off limits to grown -ups. But if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. Oats, you're back. Aerith's come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there! Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. Uh, so pro tip. Um, if you want to do let's plays and you want to stop your stuttering, I highly recommend uh, I highly recommend you to practice, like just just practice talking before you record. That would reduce the stuttering. I don't practice that shit, so that's why I be stuttering so bad, man. I be stuttering so bad when I be recording. So you want to stop the stuttering? Just practice speaking before you record. It'll make your video flow better. These, look at these punk ass things, man. <laughs> she, got, <laughs> she got burnt to clips. Oh my god. Now I'll go on berserk. Oh, one of them things coming. Nice. How much ethers I have? Oh, I got 20 ethers. It's not bad, actually. 20 is definitely not bad. You're dead. I don't want I want to go after this guy first. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. Oh, boy, look at that teamwork, baby. That teamwork is nice. Real nice. <laughs> I just seen a huge ass right just come across my screen. Alright, that was easy, man. That was too easy. That was too easy for my goddamn skills. I think it's like a banklet or something. A bangle. I don't know why I keep saying banklet. I'm combining bracelet and and bangle together. Ah, there they are. And they're not alone. I tell you right now, I am not ready. I'm not ready for that fight, man. Those smoggers, man. Those smoggers can be a huge issue. Those smoggers ain't nothing to play with. Don't you mean we stop this? Thank you, Cloud. Was never in doubt. You sure you want to fight? All right, I use Blizzard. Don't overdo it. Hope you don't get him. All right, he got it. Get off. I say good off. Good job, Cloud. I was scared that he was gonna get the um, the magic off. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, don't go too far left. I'm trying to switch. It's not switching. Press on the D-pad, but it wasn't working. Um, soldier, ain't. Oh. Okay. Let's back up. 
Oh my god, what did I just use it on? Okay, good. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yes, that was nice. Alright. Oh, shit, I forgot that shit was there. You mother. I totally forgot he, that damn thing self destructs. She didn't heal me. What is she doing? Come on, Eric. You're being a shitty ass healer, I'm telling you. You're being a very shitty healer right now, yeah? Can you take over for me? So it's my turn? Alright. That was. That was a doozy. Yeah. I gotta kill okay nice. Now Cloud just might die, I'm not gonna lie, Cloud just might die. Yeah, he got blown up by the self-destruct. This is an idiot, but still. Can you handle them? Oh Aerith. Oh my god, Aerith, what are you doing? What are you doing, Aaron? After you. Sure. Yes, that good. Alright, I should kill it right here with the thunder. Oh, okay. Huh. It was a little bit sloppy. It definitely went a lot smoother than I than I um, expected. I thought it was gonna go like a lot worse than that. I'm not even gonna lie, but it, it, it was okay. It, it went pretty smooth. Part is out of the way. This was the hard part because the, the uh, two smoggers can be a, a huge issue, like a very, very huge issue. But it, it went pretty smooth. It's just the berserk, the, uh, the berserk status that the smog have can can be a huge issue to deal with. But everything went, went pretty good. Should stagger. Oh, almost. Nice. Well, you see, Cloud here used to be a soldier. I found the BS that every time that thing self destructs, Cloud moves like very slow. You cannot run. So it, I feel like it traps you and it's walking in a mission just to get exploded. Found that pretty BS. Slash is just. I, this, that, this move is 
It feels like this move is OP, man. Triple slash is like legit killing everything so fast. Look at you, Jesus Mr. Christ. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that pull. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. You went like, yeah, yeah. You got it all wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the children hideout. Yeah. Like uh, we're gonna wait for these kids to stop talking. Then we can uh, progress. Okay, so now they're done. <laughs> Tifa, wait! Tifa! Tifa! Tifa. Tifa? <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. I found it annoying that when you talk about a girl, people just automatically assume that's your girlfriend. That's, that's very annoying. Why, why can't she just be my home girl? You know, somebody I, and I'm just cool with. You know? Always gotta be my damn girlfriend. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Uh, Who knows? Come uh, on. The reunion. Uh, 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 to fear. Uh, uh, Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. So in the original, uh, Sephiroth doesn't appear. Until like at the end of this one. In this game in the remake, Sephiroth appears every little every little moment he can get, I swear. Hey Cloud, I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry, I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. All right, so here's our first side quest. Moggle. Oh my, something's in my damn eye too. All right, so we have six side quests. Um, hopefully these side quests don't drag on too long, but hopefully I don't think they will though. Oh my, is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? And you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. 
And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see new goals. Uh, you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But you'll need to buy a membership first. <clears throat> Alright, so... Ooh, ten? You got ten medals? Oh, my. I don't know if we want to spend that, though. Oh, why not? We can spend it. Spend a little one. We can spend a little one. A little one medal. I ain't heard nobody. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopo. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Well, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course. Just like Mog the Moogle. Alright, first quit. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Alright. As I was saying before, I was rudely cut off by this damn cutscene. First quest is down, and we have five more to go. Uh, do I really need the graveyard key right now? I don't remember. I'm not sure if, if this is side quest or if, it, or if it's a later side quest. Um, no, what? No, I'm, I'm gonna buy just in case because I don't feel like going through that damn crack, that slow ass crack. So I'm gonna buy it right now. At least I have it in my inventory. You guys are great. Thanks to you, I've got a ton of medals to go, which means I can bring happiness to a ton of people. Good for you. Hey, Cloud. Maybe say it like you mean it. Not until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile from ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals to go. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. Alright, so I bought that graveyard key just in case I might need it because I don't know if it's this side quest in this chapter or if it's the later side quest where we need the graveyard key. I just bought it so I won't have to run through this damn small ass crack again. Okay, so there's a side quest up here and there's a side quest at the bottom, key is on patrol. I'm going to buy this arrow. This arrow material. Wait, I already. Hold on, I don't need it. I already, ha I already have one in my inventory. Ice, revival, fire. I'm gonna replace this one with um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace ice with wind. What you have? Healing, force, lightning. Okay. So I'm going to do the key at the side quest because I have to um, I have to make my way back here anyway so I'm going to go ahead and find the kids then do the side quest above then make my way back. Oh, you're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Alright, so the first key is... you're back! Come, look what we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. It's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. 
I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Alright, so before I was rudely cut off by this wide mouth <laughs> wide mouth ass bitch right here. Um the first key is over here. something else you should be worrying about right now? I forgot about Miss Polia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! Oh. Then the second key should be in this tunnel right here. Excuse me. Oh. Cloud? Hey there, how goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But, don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Alright, so there's two kids down. One should be, um, by the, I think the weapon shop. Excuse me, I gotta come through. That's two hundred dollars I need. Yep, right here. That's number three. Furthermore, the Nipple reports confirm that Polius was warning the Shinra Atlas to kill ah! You scared me. A revelation that hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money for the music to help the house. Teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. But that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. So there's two two reasons why um, I bought the win. Well, I didn't buy it. I think I might have got it somewhere. But um, there's two reasons why you want the win material. One reason is the boss for chapter 8 is weak against wind and those enemies those machine enemies are weak against wind also so um, you might want to have wind material on just so you can make the boss a little bit easier and the enemies you're going to be facing a little bit easier also because those machine enemies can put on like an um, immune barrier and they're going to be immune to physical attacks so it's nice to have wind so you can easily just destroy them. Alright, so that's kid number four. Number five should be somewhere around here. Hello, Cloud. Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. I think you sold your guys are So this is the reason why I am um, I did the kid side quest because the last one is going to be at at, at the end of the side quest we're going to, so and we have to make our way back anyway, so I just did it this way to save some time. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! That's everyone. Let's go back to the Alright, so that's the last of them. Hey! Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. Sure, hope not. I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. So they think this means enough. Uh, let me check how many side quests I have. Okay, so I still need to find the other three. Oh, uh, hold the phone. Who's you? Why you sitting on a rusted ass pipe? Why the shit smoking? <laughs> She's smoking a cigarette? Why is it smoking right now? That's weird. Okay, so we gotta make our way back here. I think I might have to go back in that crevice to uh, the secret hideout. Because I think there's a side quest in there. You know, since I was right here, I actually forgot to talk to that guy. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's, let's go back. 
I think that old guy has a side quest for us. And we have to go through this way to get to the graveyard. So instead of making a double back, we might as well just accept the side quest from the old man. Then on our way over there, we can just open up the graveyard key. And I think we have to face those. Do I have ice on? No, I don't. Um, we're gonna have to face those um those queen things that throw poison at us. Okay, see the, okay, he's not even over here yet. So I think I have to wait. Get out! What are all these damn people sitting over here for? Okay, maybe I have to wait. Hold on, let's. Let's go ahead and turn this side quest in. Because I don't want to have to double back. Just to get that side quest activated. The children finally came back. Thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone. Come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys. The Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The Watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job. All right, so as we finish this Toad <coughs> King side quest, uh, we're gonna get the nail bat. The nail bat basically is help you crits. You're more likely to get a crit every time you attack. Uh, I'm gonna have to replace my arrow with ice because I think the token is weak against ice. Uh, let's see if we can uh, increase our attack. Might just wait. Actually, no, I don't need to wait. Defense, attack power. Attack power, magic, here we go. Alright. Let's go. Let's go ahead and switch out the wind for ice. Hold on, maybe you, can, you should put Healing, lightning. No, no, we're good. Uh, no, we're good. It's gonna be okay. No, what? Never mind. It's not gonna be okay. Where's the damn arrow thing at? We're gonna change wind, and we'll put ice one for uh, Aerith. All right. Now we're good to go. I'm glad he's blocked. Man, this video is going to be hella long to edit out. This video is going to be hour long. I ain't gonna take over two hours just to edit. It's gonna be a long time.
So that says it might be like two parts of side quests. I was trying to make it all one part, but looks like I underestimated how long uh, these side quests are. But I went the wrong way. I'm not sure. Oh no. It's just over here. I thought I went the wrong way, but I didn't. Okay. This might be a doozy, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. Oof. Okay. You've got this. Did she even shoot? What, what did she even do? I don't know if Aerith even. God damn it. Do it. stun lock. Did that ice even do anything? I'm not even sure what she even did. What is he? What the fuck is he doing? Rolling. It's too fucking rolling, man. Dude, I even pressed the roll button. Oh, they're getting healed by it. I think that's what's going on. Alright, they're both weak against ice. Okay. You can do it. My turn. Oh my lord, what the hell in happening? Okay. The cloud might be dead. Okay, good. Got her off just in time. I know you're supposed to um attack the enemies that doesn't have the the special effects on. I know, but I decided to do it alone. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> God damn! It, put my ass to sleep. Focus does really uh, bring up the stagger gauge. It's on you. I'm coming. You've got this. I got this. Gotta heal first. I see what is she doing? She's not even healing herself. Tagging out. Taking over. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Man, the blizzard is just such a hit and miss sometimes, man. Shit that's been working half the time. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends! Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. 
Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Bro, that kid got a whole nail back. Come on, man. How dangerous that shit is. So I had to go through the hideout regardless. I didn't know how. I didn't know I had to go go back to the hideout this many times. God damn, man. Hmm. All right. I'm trying to see if I can finish this shit within under an hour. I got two more side quests. Well, actually three. I still have, I still have to do the machine side quest. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. Alright, the engine of the slums. The angel of the slums, <clears throat> angel of the slums side quest is like, they're all in, in the same little region, so that's why I don't want to go over there yet. And this one should be the old guy right here, talking about the graveyard. Alright, let's go ahead and save. We're gonna play it safe. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack a Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're going to make a special exception just for you. Alright, whack a box. Destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Each box will add to your score, yada 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 yada. So basically, the whole point of whack a box is... To beat the high score, that's pretty much it. Uh, and depending on the weapon, you see I have the, uh, I think it's called the Iron Blade. You get to use the weapon ability depending on which weapon you have equipped. So if I had like the Buster Sword on, I would have, um, I think Focus Thrust. So I need to beat 10,000. Hopefully I can beat this. Oh yeah, okay. I should be able to beat this without a problem. Shit. There we go. Too easy. Fifteen thousand. Well, I think that's the highest score is 10,000. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. He's <sighs> attacking the wrong thing. You can't lock onto the box to do there. So you kind of just, um, just swinging freely. What the hell? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. <laughs> Skipping numbers and shit. 
All right, that should give me all the items. Thirty thousand. Wow, Cloud! I've never seen anyone do that before. See, pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good, because I command a very good salary. Okay. Did it, we did it. We're going to be doing that. Now we got to toss the angel to slums. And that's going to um, uh, bring us to the hideout. And while we're going to the hideout for the angel to slums, we're just going to be uh, fighting the machines along the, along the way. Is this guy still over here yet or not? Is he here? No. Okay. Squeeze me, I gotta come through here. Where is he? I thought we put those days of war and death wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town. Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Alright, I think we have to go to the nursing home. <laughs> is, is, is that what they call it? I'm calling this shit the nursing home. I don't even know what this is called. The bar or something? Why, hello! What is it? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. Um, am I supposed to talk to somebody else? Am I just supposed to talk to random people? Oh, hold on, I got an item box in here though. Oh wait, no, I think she's in here actually. There we go. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Murray, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret considering how chatty that Shinra Mutt's been. 
Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Lady, if you don't move your slow ass out the fucking way. Got slow shit moving. Oh ass, the fuck out of the way. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in the Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us, what do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point. Got it! I'll check it out right now. But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Alright. So, we need to go to Lookout Point. Is this what the name is? Lookout Point, yeah? Yeah? No? Yes? Yes, look out point. Just beyond the valley. Alright, so we just reached an hour in though. On our next part, we're going to finish these side quests. I think I have, what, two more to go? Three more to go? Weapons on a Rampage and Angel of the Slums. On our next part, we're going to go ahead and finish these side quests and progress through the story and see who that guy is in the black suit. Um, Yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. See ya.